This video is going to go over uh, installing the ceiling. Uh, we have cross members here, which you can see. I uh, have wood attached to them right now. I think I'm going to keep that. The, the wood is actually even with the insulation, so it's, you know, flat across there. Got this uh, exhaust intake fantastic fan. Um, I'm going to take another play out of Humble Road's book and instead of in trying to install a large panel for the ceiling I am instead going to do sections so uh, a section here, section here, section here and I can install those and uninstall them individually and they'll be held in, in place with a an aluminum strip that runs here uh, that ties in here and that uh, aluminum strip will be upholstered so it's the same as those windows and we'll tie the front and back together so you'll have that upholstery coming forward next on on walls where I have um, FRP uh, plastic here those are going to be uh, upper cabinets and the aluminum cross members will also be used to support the cabinets so I'll, I'll uh, actually attach the L bracket that will attach the cabinet to the aluminum and then over here we have I'm just going to turn this around a little uh, over here what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have a large piece of plywood here covered in FRP and the reason why we're going to do that is we have a, a shower just below it so if you look down here there's the shower on the floor and we need to uh, be able to create a 360 degree uh, full circle shower curtain uh, track and so that track's going to run around here I'll, I'll do I'll do a little more on that I'll show you some things so yeah, let's get cracking. So what I meant was um, my shower curtain's got to surround the person. Um, this is where the person stands over the slats that drain down into the drain. This section's left open because there's going to be a cabinet on top. And I wanted to make sure that this has enough air that uh, it can, it can uh, breathe and dry out. Uh, so between this cabinet and this bulkhead there's going to be about uh, two inches and so the track is going to run start back here in the corner it's going to run out jog past this three inch aluminum uh, pole then it's going to come all the way around 360 degrees until we have a our, our opening is over here in the corner and so uh, what we need to do is reinforce or put some uh, wood on the ceiling here uh, so that we can tie that track in. Okay, time to finish the shower. You can see that um, from previous video, I installed the shower pan and the, um, the I don't know what you call it, uh, slats where you'll stand on them. Um, I have another video which I'll attach at the bottom in the comments if you want to know how I how I did this um, but back here there's going to be a cabinet that's going to hold the refrigerator and toilet um, going up to the top you can see in the ceiling I've relieved the foam put in a drop ear and a gooseneck for the shower head ran it over to the wall and I'm going to use a shark bite to attach to the remaining plumbing uh, so this thing can be in, stay in place, and if I have to disconnect it, I can disconnect it here easily. And then second, I have a quarter inch piece of plywood that's cut to size. Um, it's a solid piece. It's going to have um, another piece of FRP plastic that will be adhered to, uh, to this plywood, protect it from moisture. All of that will be put up into the ceiling attached to the cross braces and then um, on this particular cross brace right here we're going to be using a 
four inch uh, wide piece of one eighth inch thick aluminum. And each one of these pieces has been cut to size so that they match all of the um, cross braces. So it's gonna be, I'm sectioning the ceiling so that uh, each one of the cross members has its own aluminum on there. I think this, uh, this works well in, uh, I'm gonna wrap each of the aluminum pieces in this vinyl so it'll tie the back of the van uh, into the front of the van nicely because there's a lot of white up here. Uh, so we carry a little bit of that color forward. Then, um, last, I need to uh, put a hole in this ceiling for a puck light that will give you some light while you're in the shower. And then, um, uh, last but not least, uh, I kept, I wanted to keep this piece all solid so it's going to fill the ceiling from the bulkhead here all the way back, which you can see fully uh, uh, encompasses this uh, bottom tray. And that's because I need to run a shower curtain in here. And the shower curtain track is going to go uh, around on the top of this um, plywood piece. That's why we need a piece of plywood to uh, secure the track. And uh, the, the curtain is actually going to tuck back in the corner. And when uh, you open the curtain, it's going to pull out of, the, out of this corner, come around, and do a 180 back around. So that's the plan. Let's see if we can get her done. So the first step in installing these aluminum cross members is uh, I mark the first hole. I'm going to secure it with four bolts. Hole one, hole two in the middle. And then uh, I take a smaller bit and I just uh, drill it out. And I take the uh, 3 8 inch bit. I'm using quarter 20 inserts. So the outer dynam diameter is 3 8 inch. Widen out that hole. Good. And last I take a, a special insert tool. You can see it has a detent on there and then uh, a couple of uh, flanges or ears that it mate with the insert. So this guy has a couple of this guy has a couple of uh, slots there, and he just fits right on there, snug as a bug. Just take your thread insert, threaded insert, and you put it in. Done. You can see the pieces are test fit now. Back to the back, and then. Essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to have some FRP white. It's going to be uh, supported from side to side by this, by those aluminum strips. Looks pretty good. We're going to go with it. Got to fit a panel for the shower and um, that might be uh, harder to do than, than I think. <laughs> we'll find out. But uh, what I wanted to do was kind of talk about um, how to take accurate measurement up here. I have a handy dandy tool and what I did was I set it so that it uh, references off of this uh, post here and then at the point that I need to drill the hole for the uh, downspout I have, uh, I have that kind of referenced at zero if we look at it straight on. So I can use this to transfer my measurement. One more thing is uh, I know that it's 21 and a half inches from this side over to the post so um, that's how I'm going to do my reference from the edge. So here's my white FRP panel that I'm attempting to transfer the measurement to. And you can see from that wall, I'm 21 and a half inches over to the beginning of the post. And then 
take this guy, line him up with the edges approximately. And what you can see is I have the zero. Put a little mark there. And the downspout is a three quarter, but I'm going to use a seven eighths inch bit drill bit. And the tricky thing is this is this mark here is the edge of the downspout, not the center. So I'm gonna drill that out next. So to drill that out I used a Forstner bit and then I'll just clean it up with a with a razor blade. That cut went okay. It fits nice in the in the ceiling. Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to uh, glue these two together and let them dry. And then what you can see here is I have uh, pre-drilled the holes that I need to uh, attach this whole thing to the ceiling. I'll, uh, after I glue these together, I'll come back through the underside and um, uh, puncture, puncture the FRP so that I can see where I need to drill or screw in the screws. And I'm going to use uh, 3M90 for this. Looking up at the shower ceiling, uh, I have it in place. I've taken out the aluminum cross members so that I can cover them with vinyl. But uh, that looks pretty good. It's pretty tight. I'll seal it up a little bit better. Try to prevent moisture from getting back behind there. But I've managed to cover the um, cross members, the aluminum cross members. And you can see, once again, I just used a 3M90 and drilled out the holes. In addition, I'm using uh, decorative washers. So that's a decorative washer. Here's the screws that I'm using. Um, trying to, and that'll that'll look okay once they're up. I've used uh, decorative washers elsewhere in the van as well. You can see, get in close. So it just uh, gives a little more pop than just a regular screw. I like it. Putting this through here. Take a look at it. See what it looks like. Boom. It's all cinched down tight. It'll look pretty good. One more thing on this uh, to get these holes clear, um, get that out of there. I'm just re-drilling it with a piece of wood behind it, and uh, that's working pretty well. It's uh, not bunching up the material at all on this material anyway. I just wanted to do a recap of uh, the ceiling system. I'll call it a ceiling system. So. We have the FRP, which is great because uh, it cleans up easily and is super durable to wear and tear. I have a half inch poly ISO on the back side, which gives it some rigidity. And then if we look up at the ceiling, you can see I have a two inch uh, piece of foam insulation, poly ISO, and then there's your FRP. So. Uh, these guys here are just regular 1x2s that have been attached to the uh, metal cross member of the van. And, um, and then on the sides, I have uh, uh, FRP that is rounded. So I attached a 1x2 uh, that runs the length of the van. Um, and then these guys provide that rounded uh, uh, surface. It, it blends pretty nicely the the uh, roof to the, the to the wall. In addition, I just uh, I'm using uh, as I as I put in the uh, uh, covered aluminum cross brace numbers. I'm just using some poles to hold that up, and support it while I can screw in the. Uh, uh, fastening the aluminum piece and you can kind of see things are look, looking pretty good there's the shower put in a light looking down this way I think it looks pretty good it ties ties the back of the um, bed area into the front nicely keep going finish it up 
last piece of the shower puzzle is putting up a shower curtain. I uh, thought I'd just explain uh, what I figured out. It took me a, a minute. So these are the rollers that go on on there like that. And the shower curtain hangs from the edge there. And then you cap the end with this piece. So it's got another eyelet so that you can uh, keep your shower curtain firmly attached to the one side. And then last but not least are the clips that you attach to the ceiling. And I didn't uh, fully understand how to do these, but um, so you got oh, okay, there's one more. Over here. So there's a uh, you screw them to the ceiling in the area that you know where you want your track to follow, and then snapping your track in, it's got this little spring piece. So you clip it over, clip it over the edge, and drop it down. That's it. It's now supported to the ceiling. So we have to mark out where these are going to go and then uh, just drill them up, screw them to the ceiling, and uh, we're done. So we started marking up the ceiling um, using, you can see there's, there's a corner. It's very faint. The lines are very faint, but I think you can see it. Um, I'm using a makeshift plumb bob. Then I a piece of string attached to a washer uh, to locate the corners. And then um, when I'm done with that, I pick the radius and I use the middle of the, of the washer with a pencil. And uh, then just scribe the, the radius for the shower curtain. So up on the ceiling, I have it down on the floor now, so it's easier to show you. But uh, basically just mark your radius, pin it to the ceiling and then scribe your corner. That's how I marked them. So that took about uh, an hour, I'd say. The uh, curtain is going to tuck away over here next to the cab. There's going to be a cabinet there with a little bit of a space so that you can tuck the shower curtain away when it's dry. And then uh, when you take a shower, it comes all the way around. Or when you go to the bathroom. So that's going to be the same area for the toilet as well. I'm pretty happy. I think it turned out good.